Let's get to the boys season four trailer. It has arrived. One of a few different trailers that dropped this weekend. Ricky Flex, where do we start? Do you think we're going to get president Homelander eventually? I think it's setting up for one. And I think it's going to be too early. It may be season finale. I, I don't know, but like, think about it. We have to go through a trial. We had to get through Victoria Newman and whoever, I forget, who actually is the president-elect in this. They have to go through their their uh, candidacy and their election, and they'll be elected. And then Victoria Newman will probably kill that president and become president. That's not going to happen in one episode. It's going to happen over the course of a season. And then uh, also with Homelander's trial, it's going to happen over the course of the season. So I think we're not going to get it this season, but we're going to get like a presidential bid maybe or something. I don't know. But – Again, I didn't. I'm I'm similar to Invincible. I'm not reading the graph, uh, the comics, graphic novel before this. I'm going in it blind, and I love it because I don't know. And this trailer was chaotic, and I don't know what's going to happen. And I love that. I think they're saving a lot of the trial. They you didn't get any view of the trial during this trailer, and uh, I think it was it wasn't Kripke. It was maybe a producer or a writer that said this is like 0.1 percent of what like the intensity you're going to see in the actual show. I think the trial is going to be absolutely electric. And <laughs> I was thinking, because Sister Sage is a character that's being introduced here, member of the Seven. Uh, she is the Black character that is doing the monologue at the beginning, or at least speaking to Homelander, I believe. And she's insinuating that he he is needed to be the emperor of the people. You know, <laughs> like democracy is dividing these people and it's causing them to fight. They need someone to bring them all together like Caesar did and it's emperor Homelander on the way. And I was thinking if he became like president, he pardoned himself. Is that possible? Could you do that? <laughs> he just pardoned himself. Is that like, Dude, I, uh, that's what he, Trump's going to try to do. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say like Trump, like, like you could see, I feel like this show, is it getting like a little too on the nose? You know, is it too, is it's it not, always it's, been on the nose. Think about last season and, and what happened with uh, mother's milk's family. And then Ruth Homelander. And they've like, gone all in now with like teams like where basically you do have political candidates pretty much with like even though she's not like Starlight versus Homelander and them they're feuding the fighting and then Homelander watching on and almost relishing it, you know? Yeah, you no, know, you're, you're getting that here and like it's just so weird how like this show like I actually I'll, I'll I'll push back on what I was about to say <laughs> before I say it. I think it is like since season one episode one. They've been making fun of the commercialization of superheroes, all the movies, and how it's a bit like that business now. It's kind of running Hollywood. It's running a lot of what's going on entertainment. It's running entertainment in the world. And the boys makes fun of that to the greatest level with Vought in this show. They've been doing it since day one. It's just that now they're getting into politics, and politics is just so divisive, obviously. But I feel like people are going to give them the benefit of the doubt because Homeland is such a great anti-hero. And in all he's, he's a villain. He's not an anti-hero. He's a villain. Yes, but I love him. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think like I mean the Joker's a villain. I love the Joker. Like, yeah, like, like, yeah. Homelander's not an anti-hero. He's just a villain. Yeah, that's more accurate. I, I'm just saying like you root. I'm not rooting for Homelander, but like I need to see him on the screen at all times. It's like right. Joker. That's what I'm trying to say. Similar to like an anti-hero like Tony Soprano. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um. Whatever. End of the day, like I, I, I trust the boys. That's what I'm saying. We're so used to them like doing this one to one meta comparisons and they're so good at it. I think people understand it. I don't think it's too much yet. We'll this see. This is a part of the show. Like the yeah. being on the notes is a part of the show. Uh, I love that shot too. They use it, I think, for like now it's like two or three straight like the like, teasers in terms of like stills that are coming out right before the trailer. It's just the back of Homelander's perfectly quaffed hair. And here you have like Greco-Roman statues everywhere, and you have like the the commentary from Sister Sage that it he, like he's going to be the emperor. And then it's like the founding fathers plastered on the wall. His cape, it's like you see the stars and stripes. It's just like damn, like this is. I think this is going to happen. You know, this. I think this is going to happen where he becomes the leader of the country, and that might be leading into like it could be what's leading into like season five. Uh, moving on though, like along with Homelander. You have him and Ryan hand in hand, the, like the son of Homelander. 
And there is a scene, Ricky Flex, where I believe that Ryan throws the person against a building. Did you see yes, that? Yes, he pushes him. He basically grabs him, throws him against the building. I assume the guy's dead. Unless yeah, the guy's it's a soup. dead. That and guy's- is this, is this a, where we're going to see a descent into evil? Right? Do you think he's going to eventually turn, or do you think he's fully on board with Team Homelander? And we're looking at like, it's like a a vice versa Batman and Robin. You know, you know what I'm saying here. I was absolutely shocked they showed this in the trailer because usually, like, you know, God, I'm trying to think of the show. Uh, well, Bat. Let's just use Batman just again. But there's another show I'm thinking of um, where they mention this, where like you get your first kill. Or whatever, like you kill someone, like Batman. Like if you kill someone, you go over the line, then you're you're evil. That's why, like, I'm shocked they showed Ryan killing someone because usually that's the sign where it's like, all right, yep, he's gonna be with Homelander, Homelander now. Butcher cannot redeem him. He is going to be, you know, the emperor, like the next, the heir to Homelander. Right. That's what I think is happening right here. But we don't know for sure if that kid's dead or that person's dead. We don't know if it's a soup. We don't have the context. We don't even know if it's Ryan. But it looked like Ryan. It's Ryan. It's Ryan. Who knows if they actually include that scene, but we're seeing like influence of Homelander, all right, finally setting in with Ryan. At, we eventually are going to need a Ryan and Butcher showdown that ends up happening again. <laughs> I don't know where that's going to go. Um, Butcher only has months to live. Like, yeah, we got to talk there. about Butcher. Like, and he's not looking well during this trailer. He's got. He's got like a worm inside of his head, like a moving vein. Ugh. It looks like he's still recovering, or not even recovering. He's got months to live, like you talked about, all right? What's going to happen in order to extend his stay on the boys? Or is this is this all she wrote? And then he's going to go out with a bang. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see. Do you think he's going to go past this season, Ricky Flex? Because they said they're, they're only doing five seasons. Is that true? Oh, I don't know about that. I think they're only doing five. But I didn't know there was a limit on it. I think they said there's they're, they don't want to do like, uh, oh, let's make it forever. I'm pretty sure they want to they put a limit on it. But uh, the show is not like Butcher is the heart and soul of the show. They can't like they can't not have the show unless, you know, Jeffrey Dean Morgan comes in and replaces him as like, you know, obviously his friend or something here. We don't know the context yet, but obviously they're friendly. I guess you could do a season with Jeffrey Dean Morgan kind of taking Butcher's place Uh, because I'm I'm assuming Jeffrey Dean Morgan's going to be electric. I'm assuming I'm just assuming it. He looks like Butcher. He's American. Looks like he's going to be swearing a lot. You know, they have a past together. I'm interested in seeing what their dynamic was like previously because they know each other. And is he a potential replacement for Butcher knowing that he's on the way out? Is this orchestrated by Butcher for him to replace, right, right, him on the boys? That's what I love that. Like, if, if that, if like we can't have any more Butcher after this season, that is what I would want to see. Cause I'm assuming Jeffrey Morgan, like, is going to approach it like Negan a little bit, Walking Dead, you know, happy, like, no, like no, like means business. Gonna be swearing a lot. Obviously not Walking Dead, but in here he will be swearing a lot and having that same persona that he had in The Walking Dead. That's kind of what I'm looking at here. Kind of, I think the reason why he was cast in this, you know, as a you know someone similar to Butcher, and I think it would work. And I'm really excited to see him over any as like looking at the new people, like even the new people in the seven. I'm most excited to see him this season. Excited exciting casting in a show that doesn't have a lot of big names and Negan I think I feel like the Walking Dead is kind of cousins a little bit with the with the boys you know it's like IP but it's not like superhero IP you know it's it's graphic novel but it's not mainstream I feel like like a Negan like Jeffrey Dean Morgan casting is going to get fans very excited and what the show does so well on social media the boys on X or Twitter um they, they showed a picture of Jeffrey Dean Morgan and they hype it up by saying, you have no idea what's in store for you with this guy. You have no idea what's coming, you know, and it gets gets fans absolutely riled up. It's a new man on the inside. It looks like for the boys. I'm all in. I can't wait to see that. It's I feel like we're gonna be watching twins on screen between Butcher and Jeffrey Dean Morgan, like some like subtract cunts and put in douchebag. You know, that's going to be Jeffrey Dean Morgan's character. Um, And then you brought up like two new people here. Right, you get two. It looks like two new members of the seven. We have Sister Sage, who's doing the monologue slash conversation with Homelander at the beginning of the trailer. And then you have this new hero named Firecracker. Impressions, Ricky Flex. Amid, like initially, I was thinking these might be like Homelander thugs. Like they yes. are just like they are on the seven to support Homelander no matter what. 
firecrackers wearing the red, white, and blue. You have the com- like the, the voiceover at the beginning of the trailer. These two people are inserted because they will never go against Homelander, you know? So I feel like they're they're like a big three within the seven. Excited to see what they put together here. Yeah, the, these are just Homelander, Homelander henchmen. That's how I'm looking at them, you know? They're just people that are yes men. They're going to say yes to everything Homelander says. Homelander trusts them. If old Homelander gives an order, they're like, sir, yes, sir, and they go do it immediately. That's how I'm looking at them. But it is interesting because Sister Sage does is the one give, talking to Homelander about becoming Julius Caesar. So she's obviously really smart and kind of seeing like the big picture with Homelander that maybe he's not seeing and he's now realizing because she's telling him. So maybe she's going to play a bigger role uh, not just a henchman, but a bigger role in the psyche and the mentality and the kind of the strategy behind Homelander, kind of like a council. Before I knew Sister Sage was a hero, I thought she was the next Ashley. You know, I oh. thought it was like someone that was like in part, like, like strategizing, like what is Homelander standing with the people? What's his approval, approval rating? The idea of him becoming a politician, right? I think that goes into what Ashley's position used to be. You know, and I feel like she's that, but also a hero, ju- judging by this trailer. But I mean, I don't know anything about these characters. I like not knowing the comic background. I like going in fresh. Um, and that kind of leads into my like jaw dropping moment from this trailer: Black Noir returns. Black Noir alongside the Deep and A Train. Black Noir dead center. Apparently died. Right in the middle of season three, oh, like a punch through the stomach from Homelander, and here we have him. So Ricky Flex, let's get the theories running here. Let's get the brain moving. Let's get the brain churning. Who is Black Noir during this season? I know we talked about this before. I still want to say it's, I know no one's saying this. I still want to say it's the same guy. I do. He has regenerative no one is powers. Saying that. That's yeah. like option three. I know no one is. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. He he's like Logan. He could like put him like he could heal himself. I, it's gonna take a lot, but I feel like he could do it. And I I know it would be like go against because like he was like a Homelander friend and Homelander's like you're a friend, but I have to kill you. So like I don't see how like as obviously like the odds on like lowest odds because like why would he join the seven? How would Homelander allow him to join the seven after he killed him? And basically, like a betray of trust almost, right? But at the same time, it's like, who else would it be under that mask? Homelander's clone. That's who's under the mask. I feel like it's almost a guarantee it's Homelander's clone. And why I say that, Ricky Flex, it's the testicles with the ball hair on it. We have the jar, A Train looking at the jar, and their Homelander's nuts. They're cloning Homelander. And there's, as I said before, like I was hinting at before, I don't read the comics, but I do know there is comic book lore where Homelander has been a clone and then dressed up as Black Noir. I can see that completely happening. But also, I say the second option is Sam from Gen V as number two. Because you didn't – like, you have a hint in the post-credit of Gen V that with Butcher and there's going to be some type of connectivity into uh, season four of The Boys – and Sam is not locked in the basement in right the white pout like padded room right the detention center he's out okay and he's looked at as a hero here and look they might want to try to incorporate his powers to the seven they kind of are translatable like tra- transferable excuse me to what or like relatable to Black Noir's power set a little bit he could be wearing the mask as well and they don't want to show his face potentially I don't know why. But they might not want to show his face. Also, a little loony, right? We're looking at fake, fake imaginary stuffed animals in the air. Right. And I don't think that immediately just says he's black noir now, but there is like some comparability between like what they've gone through. I think it's Homelander, and I think they're hinting at it with the cloning. Uh, I don't know if that's too obvious, but that's my that's my two cents. So those are much more likely than my my case. I just man, if they do a clone of Homelander. I, I don't know. Like, again, like if this is getting capped at five seasons, I don't know. I just I don't see this going like into infinity, but what as in seasons. But I don't know. It feels like not a cop out, but like there's only one Homelander. Like that's who we are. Dude, it's lining up for Homelander versus Homelander in season five. Black Noir clone of Homelander against Homelander. 
<clears throat> How but, sick would that be? But like home, like Homelander wouldn't like wouldn't want to clone himself on the seven because that's dangerous for him. Uh, but like he, like he has been controlled. Like they probably have. Like they've thought about cloning him for a long time. Like Vaught, like Vaught, like, like like grew and established Homelander. Mm -hmm. you yeah. Know? So it's like yeah, like, I, I definitely think maybe it's possible. It was, it's I didn't know about the comics part. That's interesting. Yeah, no, it's just like a like a famous image of the comics. I see him replies a lot on like the boys' Twitter. It's Homelander with the black with the black noir, and it's like him with the slick back hair. Like it's uh, I think it's pretty well known that he is. A version of black noir uh like a, a clone of him is black noir in the comics i'm interested in that okay what else hmm anything else you want to add like comments wise no, i this is a good trailer and i love how we got a lot but we still have no idea what's gonna happen i do like how you yeah, think about it we got victoria newman's gonna be in vice president we got homelander potentially becoming president someday we have orion we have a black noir update potential cloning we got a, a butcher update like we got a jeffrey d morgan intro new seven firecracker sister sage we got so much in this two minute trailer yet we honestly might have even more questions now than we did before and i think that's a sign of a good trailer and especially with a brand that we've come to love you know a tv show that we've come to love and I think that's amazing. And I'm really happy about that versus like, you know, if this is a Marvel or DC, maybe that was that those kind of trailers, then maybe they probably showed a little too much because they want to make sure they get people to the box office or something like that. No, nope, like you have Amazon Prime and we're on season four. It's not season one. We're not trying to sell you too much. You're coming already, but we're going to get you excited. Anyways, that's the vibes I got from watching this trailer. Yeah. And. I do want to say like we, we haven't shown much love to some of the supporting characters here. Uh, first off, the deep with the octopus. Come on now. You couldn't help but laugh a little bit when you saw that moment. A-Train's been taking a hit these last couple seasons. A-Train has taken a hit. He's just not a fan favorite character. Mother's Milk, barely seen here. I felt like Huey was barely seen, you know, honestly, in this trailer yeah, like as well. One. Th this is going to be like, this is the Homelander show. I think this season, honestly, and it always is, but Starlight seems like it's going to, she's going to have a prominent role here. Um, and then Jeffrey Dean Morgan seems like he's taken up a lot of the spotlight compared to some of the other supporting characters. Kimiko and Frenchie get like one scene, you know, in this trailer. So I'm, I don't I'm even remember Kimiko. And then so the, uh, they played them back to back. And then we have the mystery around soldier boy, right? Is soldier Forgot boy. About that. Yeah. He, is he black and more? No, he won't. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to put that out there. I don't really remember what happened to Soldier Boy at the end of season. He five. got like uh he he got carried out uh after that fight. He got carried out and he's not dead, but he's in a chamber. Queen Maeve, Black Noir. That's interesting too. He thought she was out for good, you know, she's done. Fought loses her powers. That's so fast. Somehow. Yeah, could be there. Uh I don't think so though. That would yeah, be either. crazy. All right. I think that's it, Ricky Flex. That's going to do it for our trailer reaction for season four of The Boys.